Hello everyone, I'm Emmett Edwards. I'm a recent graduate of Guilford College. This past December, I graduated with a double major in educational studies and classical guitar performance. I mainly picked Guilford in order to study with Dr. Cami Rowan. She's been a wonderful professor and has helped me grow in a variety of genres of music. I wanted to work with her because I felt Guilford would give me the opportunity to study a variety of styles of music, as opposed to just being pigeonholed to 18th and 19th century classical music and Baroque music. While I love that, I wanted to have the flexibility for classical guitar to have a personal meaning to me and allow that to be something that I can explore through different types of music. Also, I liked how Guilford's educational track allowed me to not necessarily have to pick a track in terms of teaching like high school history or teaching math or something like that, and that I could focus on pedagogy and teaching what I want to teach, which is guitar, and I was able to take some classes through the educational department with Cami that were specific to teaching guitar, and I thought that was very helpful for what I do now as a teacher and working with students. It just, it felt very, I keep coming back to the word personal, is that Guilford has given me the opportunity to shape my education for what I actually want to do, and with that being teaching and performing, it allowed me to explore different styles of music and teaching specific to my instrument. I, I have always loved guitar from a therapeutic standpoint, and just like, I am super ADHD, fidgeter, constantly pacing and like guitar slows that down for me and it's like gives me a like, pause in my day and the moment to like focus in narrowly on something for a little bit and kind of tune out for a little while it helps with anxiety and just like getting the zoomies out a little bit like I, I can sit down and be there for a little while and it's not something where I feel like I have to want to work on it like one thing I guess I would say I did discover at Guilford I, I started out as a pre-med double major and like I did fine in my bio class freshman year, but I, I had this realization of like, I am having to like force myself to want to work on this. Like I don't really, I don't wake up in the morning like, mm, I want to look at my bio textbook. Like, and I kind of had to decide like, am I gonna, if I'm gonna really need to be putting a lot of time in on something, is it gonna be something that I want to do or is it gonna be something that I'm like, kind of goading myself into doing? And I felt like with music, that was the obvious choice because it's like, I don't have to force myself to want to practice. I don't have to force myself to want to study that. It's feels organic in my life of something I'd be doing otherwise. For about the last year and a half, I've been dead set on wanting to go to Yale for my, my graduate studies. I, I did a lot of talking my sophomore and junior year with Cami about programs that we thought would align with what I wanted to do. And it really came down to, I wanted somewhere that I felt would be creatively stimulating and that I thought I would have freedom to explore classical music I like, but also to work on new arrangements and new pieces. Um, I kind of put all my eggs in one basket and I, I, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody else but I, I knew in my heart of hearts that I would feel any time not spent working towards that would be wasted time because I, I knew I would second guess myself and think you know if I spent five hours working on an application for another school that could be five hours I spent practicing towards this audition and I decided to really 100% focus on that for about a year and a half and learn the music and prepare myself and the day I got my letter was a Thursday. I had just finished teaching my youngest student. It was a good lesson. And I, I get the email and I, I call my mom immediately on my way home from my lesson. And we open it together and she's, she's videoing me while I open it. And I, like we're both screaming, it's, it's a good day. And um, uh, I think it's something that I'm still processing and still, and obviously I'm not there yet to go to school, but I think it'll be a good opportunity and a time for me to move away from home and become an adult in that way because I've, I've, I've always been in school in Greensboro and I've never had the opportunity to, you know, leave the nest, if you will.